Now we're getting Ooh. sideways around here. <laughs> Welcome to Overland Expo 2021 in sunny Flagstaff, Arizona. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I am at the Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona, 2021. My van this whole weekend is here at the Backwoods Adventure Mod booth. So hopefully if you were here, we were able to meet and connect. You can check out the van. My main goal for this entire weekend is to find some connections for the Tacoma build, which is already underway. Truck's being worked on right now up in Denver, Colorado. And from here, I'm headed right back to pick it up and we're gonna throw some parts on it. So this entire weekend, I'm gonna be kind of cruising around, talking with different companies, seeing who wants to be a part of this thing. First one is obviously Backwoods Adventure Mods. So let's hop around from booth to booth and see what people have going on. First stop, these guys here. You guys never met Ty before. Ty, Thomas, up? Dallas. What's up, man? Good morning. These guys are holding down the booth. Got the Medic, Zargis cases, Pathfinder lights. So one of the first things on the Tacoma is gonna be their bumpers, which you guys will see soon, as well as the lighting. How are you? Gonna have some fun in the Ozarks. Absolutely, rendezvous with the Ozarks. I will be Come there. Come see us, yes. With the Tacoma. So unfortunately, Grant with the Tacoma, Grizz Graham couldn't make it. Thomas also is running the backwood stuff on his. I'm gonna pop a picture up of your truck right here, ready? Boom. It looks sick. So. This is Baby Yoda's 4Runner right here. The bumpers look pretty similar. They also offer a bull bar version, so I think I'm gonna go with a setup similar to this. No bull bar, Pathfinder lights across the front. Probably gonna pick up a Warren VR10 or something similar. Backwoods also makes these huge tents. They've got a little annex on the inside here, which is pretty cool. You can kick off your shoes and then climb up to the sleeping quarters. Super comfy in here. Might have to talk about tents in the video too. Speaking of that, right next to us, we got the guys from GFC, Go Fast Campers. This would be a super cool option. Got the little cab here with the pass through to their tents. You guys would think I like black, but this tangerine version, this is honestly one that I'd be interested in. There's a lot of different options out there. Now the whole floor plan of the Expo is pretty large, so my preferred method of getting around has been the One Wheel XR. I'm gonna go visit some friends and actually one of the main title sponsors of the Tacoma build. I got a name for the build already, which I don't know if I'll tell you guys quite yet, but you'll hear it soon. I had a protein coffee. Oh, here's the crew. What's up, guys? How you doing, Mike? As well as can be. Yeah, how you doing, man? <laughs> Good. Good. Tacoma shopping. Tacoma shopping. I need your help. I got a multicam black Tacoma for sale. All right. All right. And, uh, buying it. Yeah. I'm just trading my uh, brand new one in. Trade you. Straight, straight trade. So right here is Mike's tremor which I delivered to him. So proud of delivering the truck to him, and now it looks like this. Yep, he brought it out from uh, PA, the license plate is. Um, I've had it for a bit. I don't know, you want me to talk about it? We can, so I mainly want to talk about Diamondback because they're going to be one of the big sponsors. Yeah. So Diamondback is in Pennsylvania, which is where I picked this up and brought it out. Best bed covers around. Yeah, made in USA, out in Pennsylvania, actually, where Talon's from. Just an awesome company, doing cool stuff and making solid products. So this is the HD bed cover. Uh, I kind of have it tricked out with racks and tent and everything, but typically one of this cover's claims to fame is it can hold 1,600 pounds of weight on top, so you can like, park an actual ATV on top. But then this like opens up so you can gain access to the front of the bed and stuff, and it's just a solid platform to mount all kinds of crap on. So of course, I have the six foot bed, the Axis Cap Tacoma, so it'll be a pretty big cover, nice and long, plenty of room to mount up different things like rooftop tents we were talking about. We'll actually go over and check out Mike's Tacoma as well, even though you guys have seen both of these vehicles on my channel before and all over his channel, of course. I camper though, 
is another possible option. This is the Sky Camp 2.0, the full size. The Sky full Camp. size. Okay, you got the yeah. mini on the Tacoma. The mini's on the Tacoma right now. Yeah, it's a it's a really good tent. Uh, I like it a lot. Easy to open, spacious inside, relatively aerodynamic. One more thing too. This is the Freedom Tremor that is actually being given away. So tell the people what that's all about, where the proceeds are going. Yeah, so this truck we built up, we're gonna raffle it off uh, about the end of this year, technically gonna give it away February 2022. But a lot of cool build partners, and we built this truck to raffle off to raise a bunch of money for a charity that we chose that's kind of near and dear to my heart, and it's one A21, and they're uh, helping fight human and sex trafficking. So, super good cause, and you could win a cool truck. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Yeah. I would totally enter, but if I win, I, there's no way I could take the truck. I think you should enter anyway, man. It, everyone it's would be not, like, it's so fixed, it's yeah, rigged. Yeah, it's like third party, it's not fixed, obviously, but it'd be I, dope if you want. I totally want this truck, it's so cool. So we got Backwoods on board, we got Diamondback on board, Dometic as well, which is where Mike's truck is at right now. I'm gonna be running a lot of their stuff. I have a few Dometic products in my van already, like the double pane windows, my sink, and things like that, but I get to get a cooler now, which is rad. Some tables, maybe one of their battery banks, and you guys will see dedicated reviews on all that stuff on my channel. What's your favorite Dometic product, if you could only pick one? There's so many, there's so many. I really like the center console fridge in the, in the Ford. Do you have it in here? Yeah. Let's check it. Yeah. In the center console, they make a product that drops right into the four trucks. That's that is uh, really cool. <laughs> on board fridge. So that's pretty sick. But just their little fridges, usually the CFX3 is what I have in the back of the truck. Just kind of portable fridges. You don't gotta mess with ice or anything like that. And probably my favorite products. Rad. One wheel in. <laughs> All right, so while we're here hanging with Mike, I mean, we're hanging all day, obviously, but hey! Coming to look at your pants to maybe put it on the Tacoma. Is Aaron eating breakfast? What's up, what's up, everybody? The I Camper booth. What's up, dog? So here's Mike's taco. You guys have seen it a million times. Now, although I have the Axis cab, Mike's got the four door, I got a little bit longer of a bed. The Skycam Mini would fit on there pretty well. Really solid ladder. Nice and simple. Mattress in here seems pretty comfortable. I've never actually slept in a rooftop tent. I always sleep in ground tents if I'm ever doing that, or hammock camping. But this one would be another solid option, so kind of up in the air. I don't know what to go with. There's so many options and different mounting ways to put these things on. I guess we'll find out in a future video. Whew. I forgot how difficult it is to make a video while at an expo like this. Just get caught up in conversations all the time and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still making a video. So we covered bumpers, some lighting, tent options. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see and some people want to see sliders and skid protection, so. Let's go over to some friends of mine. Oh, that is perfect timing. What's up, John? What's up? John, this is Josh. Josh, Josh how are you, man? Is Alex C4 Fabrications. Josh, what's up? What you doing here? What's up, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I met Alex at Jake's shop where the truck was wrapped, and hopefully this video comes out after that. I don't even know. He sent me pictures. It looks so sick. But C4 is doing rock sliders and skid protection and stuff like that, so I might have to make a trip up to South Dakota and do a shop tour with these guys. Yeah, for sure. You do that? That would be rad. Yeah. You gonna be there? Yeah, I'm proud of yeah. Get you all set up, dude. So here is some of their sliders, and look at the protection underneath here. Just completely armored up. No one's gonna be stealing a catalytic converter from the taco, which is nice. And this is almost a must for what I'm gonna be doing with the truck. Tundra is sick. So while we're on the topic of bumpers and armor and stuff, 
two more options could be on a Tacoma. The Overland, which is plated. You got a bunch of different bull bar options as well. The three hoop up top, a uh, lower like mid line right like this. And all this stuff is hand welded, which is pretty rad. Anyone who's into welding can probably appreciate this stuff right here. Another solid option that could possibly maybe go on the Tacoma. We'll find out. Oh boy. <laughs> I've done it before. Brush is on. Oh, He's got it. <laughs> so we've covered a lot of stuff product-wise that's going on the truck, but we need some stuff going in the truck. So Adventure Imports right here. Just met these guys the other day when I was in Paulden, right? Yeah, we're we're uh, we're based in Prescott, so not far from Paulden. Prescott. Yeah. Okay. And they are the only importer of Max Tracks, so. Mm -hmm. The max tracks that I have on the van they actually came from you guys, which I wasn't even aware of until after the fact. So, of course, Mac tracks, you guys know what they're all about. They got a different product too, and he's gonna give us a rundown of it. Yeah, so we've got Max Tracks, Indeflate, and Rax Racks. Those are kind of three premium Australian and South African brands. Super fortunate to have them. Um, we've got Indeflate, our two or four tire air up, air down system. It's super awesome because you can basically air up or down multiple tires at once. Um, when you plug it in, it is able to equalize the pressure of all tires connected, and it makes it super simple since you have the quick connect, so no more screwing on uh, to your tires. Tires. Yeah, super, this, this super would be simple. super convenient on the van because I just have the ARB compressor mm -hmm. and then I have to go in and look at the dash. I'm like, all right, I'm at 6970, pop it off. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've seen actually some friends of mine use these, mm -hmm. especially if they're running all the same tire pressure, mm -hmm. hook them all Absolutely. up at once and air Absolutely. down. Yeah, we're big Super fans of these, especially like in the winter. Just clip it on, call it good, kind of set it and forget it. Yeah. So they're awesome. Awesome, yeah. man. Thanks yeah. for the intro. Yes, yeah, stoked. Thanks for coming. Yo, happy birthday. What's up, dog. baby? Happy birthday, What's up? Man. Thanks, man. All right, second day of the expo is now coming to an end, but exhibitor passes can still roll around here. So all of our friends are right over here at the Dometic booth. Everyone who's ever had a say it's going on YouTube. I can't. I was about to make very. I'm gonna make you the best filet mignon that you could have at a campground, cooked on a jet boil. I'm ready. That's impressive, actually. So in a little while. KC Lights is having a little shindig over here, sort of like an invite thing for industry partners and things like that. I actually talked with them earlier today, so that's another option for lighting on the Tacoma. There's so many options when it comes to Toyotas, so. Right here is where we will be. This guy right here. What's happening? My buddy Ernesto, he's the one hooking up the multicam. I'm in the, the multicam guy. And the Grom. Rum, yeah. What are you doing? Are you coming here tonight? Coming here. Heck yeah, bro. So that is uh, where the night's gonna go. I just realized that I didn't pack my batteries. I must have left them at home. So this video will end wherever this battery dies at. Check out my buddy Larry's van here. It's rule number one. I ask people if they like dogs. If they don't, I say I don't like you. We're not gonna be friends. Walk off. <laughs> if you don't like dogs, f you. Thank you. <laughs> so what's unique about his van is that obviously it has double doors here. We were hanging out in here for the past like hour with like eight or nine people and we were all super comfortable, which is rad. And because he's been rolling around making content on his Instagram with that, a lot of people have been ordering them, special ordering them through Mercedes. So that would be really cool to have in a van for sure. But it's also really long. So Torig is installing the backwoods bumpers, Sherpa carrier from Al, cargo box as well with the last this thing is dialed in, super cool. Good morning. It is now the third day of Overland Expo and it's raining. It's Sunday, show closes at three today, so it's probably going to be pretty tame. I think we've covered most of the stuff that I can tell you guys about the Tacoma so far. I guess the only thing left would be like wheels and tires, so we're gonna head over to a company that I've been interested in for a while and check out some of their options real quick. So here we have Black Rhino, and they've got a ton of wheel options. What's up guys? Could do something plain. 
super aggressive colors on the Tacoma. I'm not sure, there's just so many options. Some would look good on the van too, like these right here. Here's a good example of that. I believe those are the Arsenals. Even on the Crosstrek, which I traded in for the Tacoma. They look pretty good. And then when it comes to tires, you got Toyo, Falcon, DFG. I've been running all terrains on my van for a while, which I love. Ran them on my cross track, and there's a good chance I will probably do the same on the Tacoma, but there's a lot more options when it comes to putting tires like that onto a truck. So bumpers, lighting, rock sliders, skids, suspension. That's one that I'm really on the fence about. I'm really weighing my options when it comes to that, and I'll probably make a decision pretty soon because that's one thing that I want to do before almost anything else. I'll need a winch too, so probably throw a warrant on just like my van, and we're gonna get the Tacoma dialed in before too long. This rain is really coming down now, so I think this is where I'm going to end the video so I don't destroy my camera. If you guys have any questions about what you saw, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what you're most excited to see about the Tacoma build. Next video will be coming very soon. And, man, this rain is gonna really put a damper on the day. If you guys are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.